Well, as you go camping or maybe hiking this summer in our nation's forests, what you may not know is there are lots of experiments going on all around you. In fact, there are more than 80 experimental forests in the U.S. that are part of a system established decades ago by a St. Paul man. He recognized the need to research ways to protect our ecosystems. Well, last night we showed you what's happening in the Marcel Experimental Forest. And tonight, Fox 9's Karen Scullin takes us to Cutfoot. Majestic and mesmerizing, but the giant red pines of the Chippewa National Forest aren't just beautiful. They're a critical resource, and their future isn't so certain. How long have they been there? So the trees that we're looking at there date from a fire that occurred roughly 1918. The red pines are dependent on fire to reproduce, but scientist Brian Pollock says the culture in Minnesota doesn't really support prescribed burns for forests. So a sort of plan B is in the works, and they're trying it out at the Cutfoot Experimental Forest. Management of the forest can be done in a way that acts kind of as, as a surrogate to fire. And, and that's generally what's done. Managing the forest can mean different things, and to explore the options, experimental forests were established. Experimental forests were uh, developed, and the network was developed with a long-term perspective in mind. Here at the Cutfoot Experimental Forest, they started thinning the forest to see how to grow the biggest and best trees for lumber. But in doing that, scientists also found a way to help the trees adapt to climate change. They're growing faster here, so they should get larger during that drought period or immediately after it compared to those trees. So scientists learned thinning the forest can help the red pine survive a warmer climate. But in another part of Cutfoot... This is our tree seedling trail for this experiment. A different experiment is underway. We planted um, hundreds of thousands of trees. White oak, black cherry, hickory, species native to southern Minnesota were planted as a way to supplement the red pines as the climate warms. And now, at the 10-year mark, their survival rate is 100 percent, something that even surprised researchers. What it tells us is that the climate from southern Minnesota is in northern Minnesota now and probably has been for 10 years or so. Pollock doesn't believe climate change is the end all for the red pines or any forest, but he does say important steps need to be taken before it's too late. They may not be the forest that you know, we're looking at now, but if you want forest for your grandchildren by the end of the century, then we better be uh, working on that now. And at the Cutfoot Experimental Forest, they already are. In the Chippewa National Forest, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.